you will not get to see the show. You guys will not get to see the show if you're doing this. Y'all need y'all quiet. I need everybody's voices off. I need y'all quiet so that we can start the show. that we are part of America 
and that our culture is filled with firsts and record-setting bests, that we are foundational and pivotal people, and so that we can forever be reminded that things were not always the way that they are now, in hopes that we never allow them things to, things to return the way they used to be, but also to remember that we still have so far to go. We celebrate black history so we never forget. Will you be a part of black history? Yeah. <laughs>
get clapped and then we have to move forward. You guys have to hold on your yelling and applauding to the end. Celebrate Black History Month without celebrating the influence that African Americans have made in pop culture, specifically in songs and dances, and speaking of dance, specifically African rhythms, expanded from Africans brought to America on ships. African dances were originally performed by local storytellers, teachers, and hitters. These rhythmic movements were used to honor the ancestors' green good, portion or to recognize warriors. Those who performance were the best gain social popularity, like me. I'm social and I'm popular as time. Progress these religious and ceremonial movements transition to popular forms of expression to the sounds to the latest on the radio. My grandparents had dances like the Funky Chicken. Our parents had dances such as the Dutch Song. Even this movement has been known to Superman or Pop Rock and Joe. <laughs> While our generation continues to create change from TikTok, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the performance as the Aristocats blaze the stage to the world this year.
we're waiting on you guys. With your client.
Mr. Jones, Mr. Jones class, you guys can go ahead and get ready to dismiss. Junior high for a wonderful performance. We really enjoyed it. Okay, third row here. Second to the last row back there. Second to the last row. There you go. Up to the back. Third row, guys. Come on. Go. You have to go. You're good. They're gonna come through. The kids are coming through here, so you can't. Okay, so we're gonna. You can put them like right up against the chairs for now, yes. and then after people sit down, get them in place. Okay. So guys, get in your order. Guys, right here. Get in your order against those chairs. Right here? Yeah. Okay. So, gentlemen, 
if you're on this side, I need four of you. Can you listen? One, two, three, four. Come over here. Get against their seat. Get in your order. One, two, three, four. Move down. Okay, you guys, while people are walking in the in that back Wave your hand, and then you're going to wave for that last one. No, you're going to stand over there. No, do not be on this side. Hey, guys, I will tell them that. Pay attention. When you're going to go on, when everybody gets seated, you're going to bring your stands. Guys, pay attention down here. All right. Hey, Ronnie, who's your teacher this period? Seventh period girls and bring them down. Yes. Yeah. Just okay. go through there. Go through there and go get this proper seventh period little girl. So use both when I point you out because they're, it's hard to see you back there because your shirt's the same color as the paneling. No, 
Wars list? Are they dismissing from here to the buses? Yes.
Thank you for Davenport.
hang in the seat. All right, we're going to go all the way up. These posts are going to have to move all the way down. Counts here. Mr. Berganti, come see Ms. Hall real fast. Mr. Berganti. Guys, all the way up. Counts here. put in a lot of effort and Ms. Northless has put in a lot of effort to put on an excellent program for you today. And so I do expect your utmost respect. So we are not on our phones. We have no AirPods in our ears. We are not going to holler and shout. We can clap appropriately at appropriate times. Okay. I want you guys to make sure you're paying attention and give credit where credit is due, but don't go overboard y'all. Okay. You guys show this school what being a wildcat is all about. Right? I know that you guys know how to do this right. Make me proud, okay? And we're gonna turn it on over. Who's... Okay, y'all, good afternoon. First, giving honor to God, ministers on the roster. Oh, wait a minute, I'm sorry. I, I forgot where I was. Okay, y'all, uh, welcome to our AJH Black History Program. Um, we are, we welcome y'all to uh, clap, sing, dance, and, um, or just sit there while we celebrate black culture. Thank you.
Good afternoon. Why we celebrate black history. In 2009, Barack Obama became the first African American president of the United States. Most of you in this room have only known a world where having a black president is normal. Before that, 43 other presidents had only been white. During all those years, there were small changes that you probably weren't aware of. If you were black, you couldn't vote. If you were black, you couldn't eat at the same restaurant as whites or even live in the same neighborhoods. Look around you. <clears throat> Many years ago, you wouldn't even be able to attend the same schools due to segregation. Why do we celebrate black history? Because even though many of our ancestors were stolen from the country they were born in and brought to this unknown place called America and pulled into the trenches of slavery for over 400 years, even though we weren't allowed the same privileges or rights, even though we were given so little, black people gave so much. We celebrate black history because it is American history. We celebrate black history because otherwise, no one would know that a black man created the blood bank. A black man invented the safety hood, which later became the gas mask. A black man invented the stoplight. And that black women performed the calculations that pro propelled John Glenn into space. This doesn't even scratch the surface of the contributions that black America's made, all while being denied opportunities and even recognition for their achievements. We celebrate black history because black history is still being made. I stand before you as a part of black history in my community. In my hometown, softball began the very, my very first year of high school. I played on the varsity team for all four years, thusly becoming the very first African-American four-year letterman in history in softball at my school. We celebrate black history so that we never forget we are part of America and that our culture is filled with firsts and record-setting bests. That we are foundational and pivotal people and so that we can forever be reminded that things are not, were not always this way and now in, in hopes that they will never become that way again. But also be reminded that we still have so far to go. We celebrate black history so we never forget it. Will you be part of black history?
portrayed in the show, but not allowed to act, write, or watch the theatrical performances. It was not until after the American Civil War that blacks were allowed to perform in what was called Ethiopian minstrelsy. By the turn of the 20th century, blacks were producing Broadway musicals with an all-black cast in front of black audiences. The first known black play was James Brown's King Shot Away, produced in 1823. African Americans advanced from playwrights to the big screen in 1903. Since then, blacks have made a major impact in theater and Hollywood alike. Today, though, she is not an actress. Her work was displayed on one of the largest stages in front of one of the largest audiences. 23-year-old Amanda Gorman was elected to perform her poem, Hills We Climb, at the inauguration of President Joe Biden. Here with the rendition of Hills We Climb is the AJH Theater Department.
we can't celebrate Black History Month without celebrating the influence that African Americans have made in pop culture, specifically in songs and dances. When speaking of dance, specifically African rhythms, defended from Africans brought to America on ships. African dances were originally performed by local storytellers, teachers, and healers. These rhythmic movements were used to honor the ancestors, bring good fortune, or to recognize warriors. Those who perform the best gain social popularity, like me, I'm social and I'm popular. As time progressed, these religious and ceremonial movements transitioned to popular forms of uh, expression to the sound of the latest hits on the radio. Our grandparents had dances like the Funky Chicken. Our parents had dances such as the Electric Slide. Even Miss Northless has been known to Superman or Pop Like It, Jungle. While, while, our, while our generation continues to create trends from TikTok, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the performance as the Aristocats blaze the stage to level us here.
Pretty women wonder where my secrets lie. I'm not cute or silly, suited to build a fashion model size. But when I start to tell them, they think I'm a lie. Tell them lies. I say, I am, it's in the reach of my arms, the span of my hips, the stride of my step, the curl of my lips. I'm a woman, phenomenally, phenomenal woman. That's me. Walk into a room just as cool as you please until a man, the fellas stand or fall down on their knees. Then they swarm around me, a hive of honeybees. I say, it's the fire in my eyes and the flash of my teeth, the swing in my waist and the joy in my feet. I'm a woman, phenomenally. Phenomenal woman, that's me. Men themselves have wondered what they see in me. They try so much, but they can't touch my inner mystery. When I try to show them, they say they still can't see. I say it's in the arch of my back, the sun on my smile, the ride in my breast, the grace in my style. I'm a woman, phenomenal, phenomenal woman, that's me. Now you understand just why my head's not bowed. I don't shout or jump about or have to talk real loud. When you see me passing, I don't make you proud. I say it's in the click of my heels, the bend of my hair, the palm of my hand, the need of my care. Because I'm a woman, phenomenal. Phenomenal woman, that's me.
thank you guys so much for coming and partaking in our assembly today. We hope that you guys were able to learn something from our Black History program, and we hope to be able to continue to do things like this in our future. So I need you guys to listen, 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 listen for dismissal. Listen, listen, listen.